All right. Hey, howdy. I'm here in my boat on a particularly slow morning of fishing. Caught a couple of very small fish. What I did? Who boy? Look at that. Oh, some fish over here. Water super warm. It's pretty stained. Nothing seems to be too hungry. Um, I just want to take a minute to maybe talk about if you're new to kayak fishing, like just some basic stuff, some basic housekeeping you should probably think about when you first get in your boat. And it's really just about organization, um, making sure you have all the things you need, and like taking stock beforehand. I think what I think what a lot of people make the mistake of they just are so excited to get out there, they just kind of throw everything in the boat. And I see a lot of people talking about um, then feeling unstable because they're they're reaching around to get things, and you know this thing moves when you reach around. And if you're not used to it, I'm used to it. I've been in canoes since I was a little kid, so this doesn't bother me. But if, if you're brand new to sitting in a kayak, it's going to feel super wobbly. And you're going to feel really in, not confident in that. So my biggest uh, word, uh, advice before you start investing in like outriggers and you know a lot of the guys buy those lifetime kayaks which are great and then they put all these like wild outrigger things on them which I think in the long run you're it's 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 like a you're giving yourself a crutch and you don't want to rely on those things what you want to do is a you're gonna to want to get just over time get more comfortable in the boat but B really concentrate on being efficient in the boat like Place things in the craft so you're not craning your body to try and reach them and potentially doing this. And if you're not used to this, it's going to freak you out. You know, have places to put your gear. Like, where are you going to put your paddle? I got a, I got this thing. You know, it's off to the sides, out of the way. Where are you going to put your line? You're going to put your net and all that. And it really does help in the long run when you figure that out. Like, figure out a crate situation where you can get your rods in and out of the way. Um, I personally don't like to put my net in the rod holder like a lot of guys do. I put it right in the bow, right here. Boom, that way it's easy to grab when the fish is coming. But, you know, these are take a few minutes before you get out in the water. And figure out where all that stuff is gonna go, and like just sit in the boat on your on your lawn, you know, where you're not in danger of falling over. But like, can you grab your extra rod? Can you grab your tackle? Can you grab your water and your snacks and all that kind of stuff without having to move around too much? Um, you know, on, on a boat like mine, I have space underneath, so I can if I'm using like. This box today I'm using these crankbaits. I'm gonna keep it under the seat. I'm not gonna be screening, training, got a crane for that, you know. And I have this particular boat. I have a lot of this ascend, an ascend H12. There's a lot of room. It's almost like a canoe, but it's still, it's still a kayak. It's still tippy. Um, so take the time just to be efficient in how you, your movements, and over time you'll figure it out. But you know those first few times you go out just go to small you know don't plan on like paddling four miles to get to the honey hole go somewhere small get used to the boat and get used to how your gear is in there I mean it definitely took me a bunch of times to figure it out I was going out I went out with a backpack and it was just all a mess and it was just like oh I'll put things behind me and and now, like, now I can, I can get loaded up and in on the water within, you know, five or ten minutes. And everything's exactly where I need it. And that's what you want to strive for. Like, 
off the truck or trailer in the water five ten minutes everything's where you need it you're not like fussing around with little bits of things you know one big thing too is i use a lot of soft baits put your soft baits clump them together by tight so i can reach back and all i have to do is see oh these are all senkos i'm not digging through the bag behind me for a an individual pack of senkos i can do that right in front of me now and i was like oh look at that this is what i want you know so whatever system works for you but the more efficient you are with your gear the less you will move and the less the boat will move and i think get used to that first before you invest in those outriggers and things or either buying them or making them and like listen if that's what you need to do great um you know ultimately but first just try and get comfortable um, especially in those smaller boats those like you know the lifetime they can be pretty unstable but if you can get stable in that boat and you upgrade to an Ascend or Hobie or a, a you know, native watercraft or whatever those more high-end boats, those things are super stable and you'll feel great in those boats. So you'll be starting from, you know, getting used to that unstable platform will, will only help you in the long run. All right. Um, that was my two cents on that. Um, I just put that out there because I see a lot of on some kayak groups I'm in, my guys buy it, and they don't, they don't before they even go out in the water, they're putting out riggers on. Um, so I, I feel that it's not, it's, it's probably a thing that's not entirely necessary for everybody. So I'm gonna keep trying fishing, keep trying to do a little fishing. I'm feeling like the skunk is pretty hard today. Uh, it was one of those days. Um, but I'm gonna paddle down a little bit this way and see if I can put something else in the boat that's bigger than seven inches. And um, and then that's it. All right. Uh, you all have a good one and good luck out there.